Hello, this is Paresh Gupta. I'm a technical marketing engineer with the storage networking team at Cisco Systems. One of the most frequently asked questions that I'm being asked is that, are there any merits of having Cisco UCS and Cisco MDS together? Or are there any problems with having Cisco MDS switches with non-Cisco servers or having Cisco UCS servers with non-Cisco SAN switches? Let me answer the second question real quick. There are no problems in connecting Cisco MDS switches with non-Cisco servers or Cisco UCS servers with non-Cisco SAN switches. As long as compatibility has been verified, it should just work. Let's talk about the first question. Are there any merits in having Cisco UCS and MDS together? Yes, there are some very substantial merits. Let me explain them. In Cisco UCS, the VHBAs on server blades are pinned to SAN uplinks in round-robin fashion. Let's understand this with the help of an example. This particular UCS fabric interconnect is managing five blade systems, each with eight blades. Each of these blades are running two VMs, resulting in a total of 80 VMs. All the VMs have dual VHBAs connected to two redundant SANs. In this example, I'm showing only a single fabric interconnect for the sake of simplicity. This fabric interconnect has four SAN uplinks. The 80 VHBAs will get evenly pinned to the four SAN uplinks resulting in 20 VHBAs pinned to each uplink. Note that the auto pinning occurs in a true round robin fashion. It does not account the traffic load from VHBAs. It is very much possible that few of the VMs are running some heavy weight application and pushing the link utilization to maximum, while rest of the VMs are hardly pumping any traffic. This results in uneven link utilization. You have the option of manual pinning on Cisco UCS, but in large environments, that is an extremely complex traffic engineering mechanism. Now what happens if one of the SAN uplink fails? All the VHBAs pinned to that uplink will be logged out of the fabric and re-log in using the remaining three uplinks. This would result in traffic drop for a couple of seconds for the 20 VMs that own the VHBAs pinned to the failed uplink. The story is not over yet. When the failed link comes up, all the 80 VHBAs continue to be pinned to the existing three links only. The dynamic move to the new link does not happen. If you desire to increase the uplink bandwidth by adding more links, the traffic will not start using that link automatically. This is a clear waste of resources. You are prone to this kind of behavior with non-Cisco SAN switches. With Cisco MDS switches, SAN uplinks from UCS Fabric Interconnects running in end host mode can be aggregated into one single logical link. This is called F port channel. The VHBAs are pinned to the port channel, not to any single physical link. Link utilization gets better using the exchange-based load balancing. If few of the VMs are pumping too much traffic, they can use an aggregate bandwidth of four SAN uplinks. If one of the physical link fails, the VMs do not have to re-log into the fabric. The remaining links continue to keep the F4 channel in upstate. There is no traffic loss. When the failed link comes up, the traffic starts using that link automatically. If you want to grow and desire to increase the uplink bandwidth, just connect the cables between UCS Fabric Interconnex and MDS switches. Traffic will automatically spread across newly added links. Those are the four merits of SAN uplink aggregation called F4 channel, possible only when you have Cisco MDS and UCS together. Let's talk about the merit of multi-tenancy. Cisco MDS switches have capability of virtualizing the physical SAN infrastructure by using the virtual SAN or vSAN technology. You can assign switch ports on an MDS switch to different vSANs while maintaining complete logical separation. vSANs can span across multiple switches by tagging the frames on the shared ISLs. The capability of sending traffic from multiple vSANs on the same shared ISL is called vSAN trunking. You can have vSAN trunking between Cisco MDS switches and Fabric Interconnex running in end host mode. This configuration is called F4 trunking. The server VHBAs can be directly assigned to the vSAN on the Fabric Interconnect 
As a final result, you can have different SANS for different departments, let's say finance, HR, engineering, sales, etc. by assigning the departmental storage ports to the corresponding vSAN on the MDS switches. These vSANs can spread across all the way from storage to servers, thanks to F4 trunking. Non-Cisco servers do not have vSAN capability. Hence, you would have to waste many more ports to connect each HBA port to a different vSAN, which becomes extremely complex when multiple VMs are running on the same physical server. The end-to-end -end vSAN implementation is another merit of having Cisco MDS and UCS together. The next merit is due to enhanced performance. Cisco UCS 6200 series Fabric and X can be connected to Cisco MDS switches using 10 Gbps FCOE uplinks in addition to 8 Gbps fiber channel links. What most people do not realize is the fact that 10 Gbps FCOE provides 50% more data rate compared to 8 Gbps fiber channel. This is because of the 64-66-bit encoding of 10 Gbps FCOE. That means 64 bits of data for every 66 bits transmitted on wire. To me, that is 97% efficiency. On the other hand, 8 Gbps fiber channel uses 8-10-bit encoding. That means 8 bit of data for every 10 bits transmitted on wire. That is just 80% efficiency. The end result is that you get 50% more data rate when Cisco MDS and UCS are connected using 10 Gbps FCOE. For all the new upcoming deployments, I strongly recommend you to consider the newly launched Cisco UCS 6300 series Fabric and X and the 40 Gbps FCOE module on Cisco MDS 9700 directors. The new UCS Fabric and X have two modules. The 6332 has 32 ports at 40 Gigabit Ethernet or FCOE. The 6332-16UP has 24 ports at 40 Gigabit Ethernet or FCOE and 16 ports at 16 Gbps fiber channel. With non-Cisco SAN switches, you can only have 16 Gbps uplinks from UCS Fabric and Tekken X. With Cisco MDS switches, you can have 40 Gbps uplinks from Fabric and Tekken X. This is a huge performance merit. Note that 40 Gigabit FCOE is 200% more data rate than 16 Gbps fiber channel and 50% more data rate than 32 Gigabit fiber channel. So it's still one single cable but the performance is much much higher. Last but not the least, Cisco UCS Fabric and Tekken X and MDS switches run the same operating system called Cisco NXOS. You get merit of easy troubleshooting plus you also get to use Cisco Data Center Network Manager or DCNM for end-to-end -end visibility all the way from VMs running on UCS blades to the storage runs. To summarize, you can run Cisco MDS switches with non-Cisco servers or Cisco UCS servers with non-Cisco SAN switches, but you're gonna miss out on the benefits of f port channel of high availability, fault tolerance, growth tolerance, and better link utilization, you're gonna miss out the benefit of end-to-end -end vSAN implementation using F4 trunking, you're gonna miss out the high performance of 40 gigabit connectivity, and you're gonna miss out the benefit of common NXOS and DCNM. For more details, I encourage you to read the Cisco UCS and MDS Better Together white paper on cisco.com. Thanks for watching.